Hi, uh, Bill Cook Jr. and I have carved marble for almost 20, 20 years now. You know, inspirations are, I've got a lot, and sometimes it's natural organic forms that I see and I kind of think about how do I really want to interpret that and would love to see it in marble. If it's a, you know, the curve of a little animal bone or something really cool or something somebody says and sparks imagination, I kind of go that direction. So that, there are a lot of things that inspire me, but that's kind of what I think. Probably one of my favorite that right off the top of my head is Brancusi, a uh, very, very influential sculptor. Uh, I've looked at his work and it, totally admire it, and and I get it, and that's that's kind of who I've, you know, gravitated towards some of my work. But I also look at Bernini and and those masters that were in the Renaissance. I feel like I don't know how we could do that now, but um, Bernini, I would say Richard Erdman is a contemporary sculptor. He's out of Vermont. And the guy has incredible abstract loop forms, so that's kind of where I've, I've studied his, his work and I've kind of fell in love with the way that he interprets that. So there's two or three that I, that I admire right there. I think the biggest thing about marble for me is the, the permanence. They're going to find, for instance, all of this marble, these pieces, 500 years from now, somebody's going to either have it in their collection or they're going to dig it up from somewhere that it got buried, and it's going to be very, very permanent. I look at that as being like the ultimate attraction to the medium that we use because it's very permanent. Once this is created, it's, it's very hard. It's very hard to destroy. Wood can get in a fire and be burned or rot very easily, but something like a, a marble can be around forever. That's one of the biggest things that attracts me. It's not your typical, you know, uh, funnel cakes and candy corn kind of festival. Um, it, it, it's not artsy and craftsy. It is a cultural exchange. It's a collaboration and camaraderie between sculptors that are able to learn from each other. We talk about tools. We, we look at what other guys and gals are using and how we can, you know, use that in our art, you know, our art that we're doing. I really enjoy just the whole idea of 30 carvers getting together and everybody's doing 30 different ideas and 30 different approaches. So you learn a lot and you also, you know, get to hang out with some, some people over, you know, I've been here 13 years. So every year we get to have a whole, you know, reminiscing of, hey, remember back when, you know, so it's kind of, kind of nice that way.